Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 17th, 2021. So we have clear quartz, get crystal clear. And isn't this interesting? Rhoda Knight, find, it, find a way to forgive. So this is very much uh, about getting rid of the junk in your field. I guess, can we put it that way? Whatever, in your energy. I hate saying energy over and over and over again. But what the heck else am I supposed to call it? <laughs> okay. This is healing. This is healing. This is heartbreak. So we had, uh, what do we have yesterday? Was was that the pink opal yesterday? I believe it was. Um, or recently we had pink opal. And I was saying that I kind of put pink opal as a crystal in, in my mind and only in my mind um, in the same category as Rhoda and I because it's all about the heart healing. It's about emotional healing and trying to find... Um, some groundedness in whatever it is that you're feeling pain over. Where can you anchor? Where can you land? Where do you need to admit a truth to yourself? Where do you get crystal clear on your accountability? Where does that come in? And trust and believe, I've been doing personal sessions for people for years. And I have had some angry, oof, angry people when they come in and say for example i you know i'm just making up this example this isn't specific to like one individual but you know i got a divorce and my spouse is just horrendous and evil and this and this and this and the messages start coming in and it is about and we all do this i know i do this and i'm trying to get out of this habit of villainizing somebody uh just because i'm in pain and I don't, it's somehow easier to throw that at somebody and say, you're to blame for what happened in the past. But when we sit with angels of God's purest love and light and archangels of God's purest love and light, they bring forth truth. And they're not dancing around our egos. They're not out to hurt you. So if ever you're tuning into angels yourself and they are telling you bad things, that's not an angel, okay? Ask for Archangel Michael to come in and help you and clear that away. But they will say, hey, you chose to go into this marriage. Let's look at what was behind that. What were things that you believed about yourself at the time? What were your expectations of the marriage? As you were in the marriage, what did you learn? You know, these are the kinds of things that would come up. And people would be like, how dare you? Don't tell me I have to forgive my ex-spouse you don't know what they did to me. And I understand that reaction so much. I've shared over and over again about having a past that had abuse in it. And I'm not talking a little bit. I'm talking like a lot. Okay. And so when I come up on a message where it's like, okay, it's not like you're blaming yourself for the abuse, but what can I learn from that? That's why the angels will take us back to a bad situation. And for me, the lesson out of that abuse was uh, finding my way, my way back to myself for one, but learning how much of a survivor I can be. That's a huge lesson. We can go on and on with that. But when we talk about the pain body and saying, okay, in order to heal that, you don't have to take accountability that's not yours. Please, that's not what we're implying here. But where can you understand your state of mind, your emotional place that you were in when you were making all of these choices simply so that you do not have to repeat the lesson? When we say find a way to forgive, you've heard this. It's not saying that what the person did is fine. Go ahead and do more of that. We're not saying that. It releases you and it opens the pathway for you to start sort of solidifying whatever you are meant to learn from that situation and you can move on and you can clear the way for yourself. That is what a lot of you are having to do. There is resentment all over in this audience. Okay. <laughs> so the focus for today, what are you resentful about? Now this can get uncomfortable. Please only do this activity if you feel like you're in the right space to do so. If you feel like it's going to uh, ignite a really big <laughs> reaction or bring up anger or whatever, you know, maybe wait until it's a better time for you and always, 
make sure you have proper support. This is not a replacement for therapy. Uh, but if you can, if you're in a space, you might say, you know what? I am really resentful about, and it's going to start with something that probably just happened. Okay. I had a bad client or who I perceive as a bad client, but really they just made me feel bad. Um, they probably have their own stuff going on. I was feeling sensitive in the moment and then we had a clash. So that's what I'm feeling resentful about. Okay. So when you have conflict, you can write that down. When you have conflict, how do you respond? Well, I said this, this, and this. And when I walked away, I felt like this, this, and this. What made you respond in the way that you did? Well, I'm tired of messing with people's nonsense. I'm tired of people scapegoating me and trying to gaslight me and dump their stuff on me. Where does that come from? Okay. And you keep going back and back and back until you come to some clarity moment. Where is your original wound? Where is that? Okay, so that's part of that crystal, getting crystal clear, understanding your pain origins. Again, please do not do this without support if you feel you need it. Some of you in the audience there, you've come a long way and you're ready to finally, you know, put the, put the final little touches on this forgiveness activity. And this might even be having to understand a fuller picture of a story. Let me give another example. I have a memory. I'm not going to get too specific here because I don't want to you know, call anybody out or anything. But I had this memory from my childhood. And it was a very painful memory. And I carried that with me for decades. I finally felt brave enough. I mean, I hung on to this. It was something that was like, I, I can't bring this up. It's too sensitive kind of thing. Finally, I had a conversation with somebody who was there. And they reflected back to me their memory of that time. And it blew my world open because I had completely misunderstood what someone's intention was. I had no idea what the other side of the story was. All I knew was my perception of it, which was pain. And when I heard the whole story, I understood I had to forgive uh, who I, yeah, I had to forgive the situation. That's, <laughs> I, and also who I thought was involved, but I had to, um, I kind of put it out there like energetically, can you forgive me for putting you in this bad life for so long? And then I had to forgive myself. And that's a big one. We all have to remember to forgive ourselves as well so that we can free ourselves, get out of this loop and remember, you know, not forgiving and hanging on to anger, pain, and resentment is feeding that toxic thought grid, that thing that disempowers us. It says, you know, we need to be controlled. Here's your chance. Today's the day. Oh, we got a lot of them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we have Archangel Samuel. This is an important one, especially today, because Archangel Shamuel is all about self-love and, and finding your potential. Jophiel, again, find the beauty, the wisdom. Raphael, healing. Uriel. Uriel is about, as I say, you know, your internal fire, your passion. And in this case, this it's usually a very positive. Uriel is all about like a positive, passionate fire that helps you to grow as a as a human right and as a soul but i think in the context here this is like almost like what has gotten you fired up and i bet there there are silent fires burning that you've just merely forgotten about and that heat is like really informing how you respond to things today's the day if you're ready today's the day to go back and examine that and ask yourself where can I put out some fires, <laughs> right? Where can I move on from this? Okay, so we have time. It's just time to do this, to come out of hiding. And this is going to open up your calling and you're well supported. Look at that. That is beautiful support coming forward for everybody. And uh, I just want to see if there's anything else here. Your guardian angels, you know, don't bypass your guardian angels. They are the closest besides your spirit guides. So spirit guides... Just the way the information has come through me, I'm sure everybody has their take on it. The way the information has come through me is that spirit guides are not necessarily 
your loved ones who have crossed over. If you knew them in the physical, they would not have had time to transform as they go into the fourth dimension to then turn around and guide a human on earth. Your spirit guides are, t this doesn't mean that your loved ones aren't like watching out for you or whatever, but going to them, and I said this from like the beginning when I started Angel Souls, going to somebody who's crossed over, especially recently crossed over and saying, hey, guide me. You're gonna get the same kind of advice that you would have gotten in the physical. Maybe that's what you're looking for. The only thing that they know more of now is what happens when you die. They know that. And to us, as I've always said, that's like the holy grail of information, right? Like what happens? It's our biggest fear. And so when we go to them, our loved ones on the other side, and we ask for their advice, you're going to get the same advice just about, maybe they're a little wiser now, but you're pretty much going to get the same advice that you would have when they were in the physical, as I said. Uh, and I think I had previously joked about if you want to talk to Aunt Betty about the blueberry pie recipe like that that you can do right but as far as like actual spirit guides these are like sort of higher frequency fourth dimensional beings maybe even going into fifth dimensional energy uh, and it's important that they you know they're there as guides to be in that frequency because it's close to your third dimensional ego consciousness frequency okay so that's how you can kind of maybe some, it depends on where you are on your path, but that's kind of how you can understand your spirit guides sometimes a little bit easier than you can even your guardian angels. Guardian angels and our higher self. This is where we get that term, the angelic self. It doesn't mean that we are angels. In truth, we are all one. We're just little, you know, like drips from the ocean or something kind of, you know, just expressing as individuals. But when it comes down to, are we absolute angels we're not made of the same stuff as angels oh controversial i know it, it, a fifth dimensional guardian angel they're upper fifth dimensional beings if they try to take that frequency and come into a human body it would the energy wouldn't fit not to be graphic but hot dog in a microwave okay <laughs> Discuss or me trying to get out of Spanx, same thing, okay? So <laughs> it just wouldn't work. So we have to remember this. They would have to lower their frequency. <laughs> Did I lose all of you? Come back, come back. <laughs> get that image out of your head. But we, they would actually have to really slow down their, their frequency to fit into this body, but they don't need to because it's not, that's not what they're there for. That's not a part of their path that they have paths, right? So they are there to be in that frequency, that um, upper fifth dimensional frequency so that they can communicate with our higher self. That's how we get our information. So this is where it's a little different. Of course, uh, all love to the psychological community. You know, I'm a big supporter of everybody having a well-rounded approach to their healing and their you know, personal growth. But there are some schools of thought out there is like oh you hear voices as a medium or as a channeler therefore you have you know schizophrenia or you have whatever i know for me as a medium and a channeler uh it's not as if i'm hearing discombobulated voices telling me to eat the cheesecake you know or like well and i think we tend to really misunderstand schizophrenia in general right so there's this um I don't know. There's, it's not very nice to people who are dealing with schizophrenia and it's not very nice to mediums and channelers that were sort of demonizing schizophrenia. So all the way around, not cool. Let me lay that down. Let's get better. But I want to make the distinction here. It's not as if you would normally hear like, at least how I do it. I don't hear these like discombobulated voices. It's sort of the higher self taking on different tones, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's that. When we're talking the sixth dimension, so the sixth dimension, there are all kinds of light beings. There are angels in the sixth dimension as well. I always lovingly think of the sixth dimension as like mission control. <laughs> so Arch Archangel Metatron kind of territory um, and all of that. I think because I'm talking about all of this, I'm gonna label this a slightly different way. So if you are watching this video outside of the day, that the message was supposed to be there. Still good, it's timeless. You might get some use out of this information. And then of course we go into archangels, seventh dimensional beings and above. 
Okay. And then of course there are higher dimensional light beings, angels, like the whole bit, it's all there. So the reason why I am outlining all of that is so that when we're starting to open up and we're getting these messages in, we're not getting confused. Uh, we're not getting these, what I call interloping souls <laughs> that come in and try to pose as an angel to tell you something. Um, you know, we, yeah, they're even saying keep the purity of the message. And so you can kind of heal through that. So this is part of, you know, raising that frequency and being in touch with your guides. And as I was saying, your guardian angels are coming in to help comfort you and help you realize the benefit of forgiveness and, and releasing. It's all about the consciousness. It's all about the frequency. It's all about raising the frequency and raising the consciousness. Okay. Let me know if you have further questions about that. If I need to make another video, again, keep in mind, this is just how I perceive the information. I'm still a human being. It has to go through my third dimensional ego consciousness, but that's what I have to offer. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.